Alicia Quarles welcomed fraternal twins in February at the age of 41. Now, the journalist and GMA3 contributor tells people how she's managing life as a new mom. It belonged to all these like online groups, parents of multiples. You know, having a baby unexpectedly at 41 is one thing, having twins is a whole nother beast. So you read all these things, it's been pleasantly so beautiful. I've really, I've, first of all, I have a lot of help, so I appreciate that. I have a live-in nanny, I've got you know day nanny, so I do have the help. But that help allows me to be very present with each of my children. I'm astounded. I feel like I went to graduate school for motherhood in the past three months, because I just learned so much. Me being like a single girl in the city, not knowing anything, and now I'm really getting comfortable with motherhood. And the fact that my sister is close right now, my dad's not that far away, my mother got to teach me a lot of things. It's been nice. As Alicia mentioned, her pregnancy news was unexpected and she's sharing her initial reaction. I was in like total shock, total shock. I have been so erratic in, in, in my thinking and I didn't know why I thought like I was losing my mind. No, it was just hormones. So the day I found out I was pregnant, unfortunately led to a whole series of other events. But then about a week later, I went to the doctor. I'm laying there and she goes, oh, good thing you're laying down because it's twins. And I was super calm because it made total sense of why I had been so hormonal, why things just weren't adding up. So I was basically pregnant my whole first trimester and had no idea. So imagine having the hormones of not one baby, but two, and not even knowing you were pregnant. Just as she learned of her pregnancy in 2022, Alicia suffered a public mental health crisis, and she still recalls the stresses leading up to that moment. So that morning I had been on air um, at Cheddar, and I remember my coworker there, Baker Marchado, loved him. He made a joke, and I, my mic pack had fallen. And he goes, oh, you're giving birth or something like that, all right? And I was like, the only thing I'll give birth to is this mic. I was joking. I had a doctor's appointment after that. I forget what we were checking, but I asked, you know, do a pregnancy test while we're here. And I took a home test as well, pregnant. And I, this is, a lot of that day I don't remember. I do remember this. I was like, oh my gosh. And when I found out how far along, oh my gosh. So I started telling people. Like in my mind, I'm like, if I tell people this is real, that's where I was thinking right there. I have been acting in my eyes, I think leading up to that, just not myself, like really extreme emotions, extreme, but I didn't know why. Like, I'm like, am I, am I going crazy? That summer though, I know that I was exhausted. I've been working three jobs. I've been doing all my charity things and I've been going nonstop like this for years. As I think my mental health was deteriorating that day, but physically I was tired. So I call it a total shutdown. Physically, I was run down from working, from going, going, going. You know, you name this event, I was there. That's just kind of how I was built. And then I later found out through working on myself in therapy, there's a lot of things I hadn't dealt with. I hadn't dealt with the death of my best friend so many years ago. I really hadn't dealt with the devastation of my divorce. A lot of things I hadn't dealt with, I just kept going, going, going. At a certain point, your body's gonna shut down, your mind's gonna shut down. So all of that was happening, but you put the hormones on top of it and it was just a recipe for disaster. And it all started to play out on social media. Alicia live streamed much of her crisis on social media and explains what she remembers from that day. I do remember streaming. So I remember that as I was having this, this whatever was happening with me, in my mind, it was, Put it on social media, put it put it on social. I don't know why I wanted to, but I do know now that people were concerned about me. People don't know what to do when somebody's having a mental health crisis. So people called the, the police for a wellness check. And I remember being so afraid because you have people beating down your door. I just remember being incredibly, incredibly fearful and I didn't know what to do. And I know, I know at that point, that's also why I kept streaming. Alicia was taken to the ER and has since built a support system to more positively balance the pressures of her life. She hopes her journey inspires others to check in on themselves. I interview people for a living. I need to be honest, right? Mm. So yeah, I, I, I have read the feedback and listened to the comments. And here's the thing. I was working through this in my therapist because I felt guilty and embarrassed and I don't feel that anymore. I don't feel ashamed. My message is you can fall down. Things happen in life. It's how you come back. Do you come back a better person? Have you worked on yourself? Are you honest? The reason I'm speaking out today, as hard as it is, I truly believe, I truly believe I would not have ended up in that situation had I taken time for myself, had I slowed down a little bit. 
and I'd not gotten so caught up in going to this event and that event. You know, I was just so much in the scene and uh, in the world that I didn't take time to check in on myself. And I think that as people, you can get caught up in certain things and the glitz and the glam, but you need to make sure that you're okay. Now, Alicia is focused on the new top priority in her life, motherhood. I think I'm a pretty cool mom. I think there's <laughs> something to be said for being a mom at 41, cause you're tired. So <laughs> I'm not over there stressing about, oh my God, the, you know, the baby's sneezing, the baby's gonna be all right. So, <laughs> but I will say there's a reason God gave me two. I have enough energy for two and I have enough patience, right? At this point in my life, um, and also there's something to be said for going so hard in my career for so long. I've done it all. I've done the things. So now I realize you don't have to be at every event. You don't have to say yes to every job. Be confident in who you are. Do your shoes, do your thing. And guess what I get to get home to now? My family. For more with Alicia Quarles, pick up this week's issue of People on Newsstands Friday.